Let's take a look at possible outside sources for concrete moisture issues. Weekly, if not, I would say daily, we get into conversations with customers and it goes something like this. I'm doing relative humidity testing on a slab on grade. The slab's 20 plus years old and I'm consistently getting relative humidity values that are in excess of 90 plus percent relative humidity. How can that be? Really, the whole discussion can go down multiple avenues, but the one that I'd like to discuss today revolves around where some of that moisture can come from as far as outside sources are concerned. First could be leakage, water leakage, whether we're talking breaks in plumbing, whether we're talking um, interior sources such as the plumbing fixtures, water fixtures to the refrigerator, things of that nature. And it doesn't necessarily have to be catastrophic and it doesn't necessarily have to be something where the water is still visible at the time of inspection. It could have happened or happen, happen slowly over time and now it's just showing its face since you're doing testing. The second thing is the grading of the property. And so whether you're, when we talk about grading, we're talking about the natural runoff of the moisture. And even though the property could have been graded appropriately to run the moisture away from the property or, or away from the building initially, as time goes by, what you find is people will start adding flower beds, they'll start adding or raising elevations because of landscaping, things of that nature. And so what was designed appropriately to begin with really isn't that way now. The third, which runs kind of hand in hand with that, deals with drainage. And so when we look at drainage, drainage is the mechanical means for which we get the water away from the building. So whether we're talking scuppers from the roof down, we're talking gutters to get the, the, the water away from the building, we want to make sure that there's an appropriate amount so that you don't have any pooling of water or any st stagnation of water in locations that's going to cause it to possibly get back to the building. A couple of other things that we look at which revolve around ambient conditions and the changes that they can cause to the concrete moisture. One is high relative humidity in the air itself and the other one is um, condensation on the concrete which revolves around the comparison of the temperature of the concrete and the dew point temperature relative humidity of the air itself. So really at the end of the day, there's a lot of different variables that could play into this, this question of how can this old slab have high relative humidity. But at the end of the day, what I try to emphasize here, in my opinion, is that it is extremely important for you to test those slabs where you're going to put a finish down, even if they're old slabs and show no visible sign of moisture issues, and even if they've had a finish on top of them because it's a lot easier to try to identify the problem before you install than it is to try to fix the problem after you've installed. Leave me a comment and let me know, how do you handle these old slabs? Do you moisture test? Or do you have some other method for determining whether or not the concrete is dry enough to install?